How do you generate a certificate signing request for a firepower management center or FMC? Well, in this video, we're going to take a look exactly how we can do that using the firepower management center graphical user interface and how we can get that uh, certificate signed by an internal CA and uploaded to the firepower management center. So this video is going to focus on the FMC using version 6.6.5 earlier versions may differ so do make sure you check out the Cisco documentation so to do this we need access to the firepower management center to which I am on now and we need to head over to the system and then we need to go to configuration and then when we get to the configuration section we need to find HTTPS certificate and click on that and there you can see the current HTTPS certificate that's in use at the moment now for me um, this is a demo device so this certificate is changing quite a lot so this is no longer a domain that I'm using at the moment so what we're going to do is we're going to generate a new certificate signing request so that we can get a new certificate for this particular device so if I just click generate new CSR and then we can start to populate this and obviously populate these in line with what's relevant to your location and environment so I'll just quickly populate this uh, common name we can leave as it is so I'll just make those smaller and in our SAM field we'll also populate the name there as well we won't put an IP address in we'll leave that and then once you're done just go ahead and press generate and you'll see there we've now been able to generate the CSR now we need to take or copy this CSR into your internal CA and get that signed so I've just quickly got that signed from my internal CA so I'll just go ahead and close that and now what we want to do is once you've had that certificate signed just import HTTPS server certificate and what you can do here is you can um, optional you can add the private key and certificate chain if you wanted to if not then just the output for the actual server certificate itself so we'll just add that in now and it's probably worth pointing out that if you choose to uh, generate the certificate in DER or DER encoded then uh, you won't be able to copy this in so it's always worth uh, generating the certificate in base64 encoded and that way you can just copy and paste that in so I've done that there I'll just click save and now you can see that um, our certificate um, has now changed we can see that it's basically populated it with the fields that uh, we have just um, created in that CSR request so if I just go ahead and click save there you can see now that this should have changed so just give me a second while we reload this there we go and it's just come back now so if I just check this certificate we can see there now that it's signed with the new information as well which is great so that's simply how you can generate a new certificate on the firepower management center using the graphical user interface if you are looking for more advanced features do check out one of my previous videos on my youtube channel or on my website www.networkwizkid.com where you'll find a video and information on how you can actually use the CLI to generate uh, CSRs and apply new certificates there. Thank you for watching.